Well, Nick and I have decided to come out and fish what looks to be a rather flooded Hampshire Avon. <laughs> Very flooded. It's uh, it's New Year's Eve today. It's uh, about nine o'clock in the morning now, isn't it? We've got a bit yeah. of a wander about, and uh, we found well, as you can see <laughs> over our shoulders, rather a floodplain. Um, we're, st we're struggling to find somewhere to fish, to be perfectly honest with you. But yeah. uh, we have found one or one or maybe two places to have a little dabble. So we're going to have a go since we've made a trip down here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's nice to fish a new venue anyway. You know, come what may. I mean, the river levels. Well, I mean, kept, we kept an eye on the sites, you kept an eye on the water level sites, and they haven't dropped a lot. So it's dropped about four millimetres in the last three days. <laughs> it's yeah. not going down at all. So it's not too optimistic on that front. But, I mean, as we, as we said, found a, maybe a few areas that we can have a double. Well, I'm going to be myself doing some float fishing and link leisuring. And um, brought with me uh, some maggots, lobworms, cheese paste, Palatrax meat beast paste, uh, and, and bread. So, and a very soft helping of uh, krilled uh, liquidized bread mixed with a little bit of hemp and a little bit of garlic puree so fingers crossed there's some roach maybe some perch about maybe some chub and um, I think Nick's gonna tell me what, what you're gonna be using yeah I mean <coughs> excuse me very similar thing really uh, maggots worms bread that's that's gonna be the main mainstay I'm just gonna fish for whatever we can catch really Precisely. roach roach some nice roach would be great perch um, chub there's even some barbel in here <clears throat> One thing worth mentioning as well, like this you can see how high the river is. The clarity is unbelievable. I mean, for, for somebody who comes fishes muddy Midlands rivers, I mean, it's it's five or six foot deep back here in the main river, and you can see the bottom. Hmm. I mean, it's absolutely so clear. It's, it's fantastic. It's real, real novelty for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's certainly gunning through and it's pacey, and but as as Nick said, it's absolutely glorious. I mean, if you were sight fishing, I should imagine summertime would be absolutely brilliant to sight fish. But yeah. It's, we, we had to come today, didn't we? It's the only yeah. day I had, unfortunately, yeah. um, to come down. It's New Year's Eve. Um, but uh, we had to come today, so we yeah. bought the day tickets and uh, that's it. here we are. So, yep, And we are the only ones here, so <laughs> it's only the madmen that are coming. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's wet a line, shall we? Yeah, Can't why not, wait. mate? Let's Can't crack wait. on. See you guys soon. Yeah. Was that you? Was, was that you knocking the wall? Yeah. Oh. It's <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, not quite what we were after, but seeing as the Hampshire Avon was flooded, we decided to come onto the itching. Looking for some grading, but we're catching plenty of these beautifully marked brownies. Get it slipped back because it is out of season. There we go, beautifully marked young brown trout. Lots of them in this particular weir pool. This one's really res rather resplendent, I think you'll agree. Had a fair few of these now, very nice though. To, me, to be honest, wouldn't mind grailing or two, but yeah, still very enjoyable. Look at that for markings. Certainly you're getting a fair few of these. But where are the grailing hiding, eh? Like peas in a pod, aren't they? Very, very pretty. So it slip back. So many of these lovely juvenile brown trout. Buttercup bellies. Go and tell your grading friends I'd like to meet one of them.
another nicely marked brownie. Maybe I should rename this video to Hampshire Avon was flooded, catching trout on the itch it went after grayling. <laughs> Into a trout, I presume. Small one, it's worth. There we go, another finely proportioned and nicely speckled brownie. It's hoping for some maybe some trouble or roach or maybe a last knocking's graining. It doesn't look like it's happening for either myself or Nick. Well, guys, it just got dark. And, uh, you probably hear from the road noise, we're not next to a road bridge, but uh, just had this fella out on bread. Fantastic, great scrap in the current again. Wonderful, great fishing down here on the Egypt. Well, from a flooded Hampshire Haven, that was a bit of a no go, and it one swim and a lot of wading there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Nick's got wellies, I've got chest waders, and I went to go and have a look at the main river there. And to be honest, it was I, I walked, got when I took time, I got back to it. You, I said to you, you know, that's you can count that right out. <laughs> so we made our way across to the itching to do some scratching around, <laughs> and once, uh, again. Yeah. once again, scratch you for trout, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, we were inundated on the uh, trout hotline. We, <laughs> we was after obviously, you know, we know it's out of season. At the end of the day you can't put a notice board under the water to say you know don't take this bait this is for grayling unfortunately you know it would have been nice to have a grayling but i tell you i mean i stopped counting at 19 trout i think you had about 24 25 didn't you oh, goodness knows <laughs> he knows in the end yeah, yeah it's two nice one in here yeah uh, that nice ones in here in the end but uh, yeah, yeah you... oh, it's just try 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 wasn't it uh, absolutely. and a bullhead of course <laughs> and a bullhead a P pb bullhead pb bullhead the only bullhead i've ever caught might be one for the bloggers challenge as well <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been enjoyable. I mean, considering we went from a flooded river that was utterly impossible. And we didn't get a single tap, single did we? Tap, but, well, no. maybe a tiny little minnow tap. But exactly. You know, so it wasn't out, they weren't having it at all, were yeah. they? In there? I mean, it's been, been enjoyable, but I mean, it would have been nice, as I said earlier on in the video, when I was having the trout further up on, on the, on the uh, float gear. It would have been nice to add some grading or maybe the old roach, but that's the way it goes. It's fishing, and it's just nice to get a bend in the rod at times. So. And a great way to finish the year as yeah, well. It's an, it's hard to believe where the year's gone, it's gone so fast. You know, I'm sure you guys think the same. I don't know, the older you get, the more time flies. You know. Just a bit, yeah. just a bit. Yeah, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it, thoroughly yeah. enjoyed so it. So did I. It's Seeing the year out like this is great, but, uh, but we, it's about half a side now, something like that. Do you have to get home to celebrate yeah. with the families? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Can't exactly. stay on the bank, bank too late, but uh, no, it has been very enjoyable. It's been enjoyable. Nice to meet up again. But always nice, nice to meet up and, and you know, uh, if you've um, enjoyed the videos by either of us, do take time to click a thumbs up on our on our respective channels. And if you're not subscribed, do take time to click the bell icon and subscribe to Avon Angling UK and Fishing for Memories. Anyway, I think we'd best be heading off. And until ne our next videos, and we see you hopefully in 2020, all being well. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, that's a wrap, I guess. And we'll see you then. See you then, and happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year to you guys. Take care.